Everybody, it's Geek Cam, y'all. Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be making like um, a platter, and we're going to be putting um, clothespins around it and jute rope to decorate it. Um, so depending on how big you're going to make your platter, depends on how many clothespins you're going to need. Um, so what the first thing you're going to need to do is your clothespins come like this with a little metal piece so they, they clip, you're going to need to take them apart so that they're like this. And you can disregard the metal piece so you can save it for something else or whatever. Um, but you're going to need them all to be like this. So you're going to need to take them all apart and get them ready. So you can pause this video, go ahead and do that or whatever, and then come back to this video when you have that all done. If you are wanting to stain or paint your clothespins for a different look, um, I'm going for the natural look of the natural wood of the um, clothespins, but if you wanted to stain or paint yours, now is the time to do it after you've taken them apart um, before you put um, the clothespins on the board. So now is the time to stain or paint them. The next step you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut out two big circles of stiff cardboard, thicker cardboard, um, to the size of the platter you want. Now the one I'm doing is a 12 inch, so these are 12 inch circles, can't really fit it on the frame, but I have two 12 inch circles, and you're going to glue them with hot glue together and make one piece. So. Let me do that. Once you have your two pieces together, you're going to need some contact paper. Any kind of contact paper will work, any color, any style, any pattern. Um, I have this contact paper I got from Dollar Tree. It's um, 18 inches by 1.5 yards or 47.7 centimeters by 1.3 centimeters. Um, it was $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And it's this um, white and gray marble color. So that's what I'm going to be using. And you're going to take the contact paper. And you're going to affix it to both the front and the back side of your um, circle. And you're going to trim it around the edge. And then I'll show you what to do from there. And you're going to want to trim around with leaving a space or leaving some extra. Trim around.
so. Then what you're going to want to do is cut almost up to it. Almost. Little hash marks. About one inch apart. Pull and fold it over. Pull and fold it over. You do that all the way around. Looks like this. You're going to flip it over and you're going to do the same thing on the other side with the other piece of contact paper. your back side, this is your front side. Make sure you get all the creases out. Go around the edge and run your hand. Smooth out the edge. Okay, now you're going to take your clothespin and you're going to put it with the pointy side up and the the, uh, the pinchy side down. So we're we'll facing this way. And you're going to glue it to the side of your um, cardboard circle, just like this. You're going to glue it right there. You're going to glue them all the way around your circle. You're going to use a lot of hot glue for this, people. You can either glue the hot glue stick, or you can either glue the clothespin and then put it on, or you can put a bead of glue and then glue it on. Whichever is easier for you. Put a big bead of glue and stick it to it. Hold it for a second. Make sure it stands up straight.
make sure that they're even at the top and not all cattywampus. Make sure they're even. You have all your your once you have all your clothes pins done around you see these grooves you're gonna take the corresponding cute rope And take some thick rope. And take some thick rope. Get a big groove. You're going to take some thin rope. For the thin groove. And for the wire, the medium sized groove, you're going to take some medium sized jute rope. And you're going to run it along the rope, along the groove, and glue it on in place. So. Do the big one first. <coughs> you want to be the glue, the big glue.
lost the footage of this, me putting this on there, but I took this jute ribbon that I had and that I got from Amazon, and I'll leave the link below for that. Um, and I put it around the edge of the uh, um, clothespins and folded it over, and I glued around the top, and then I glued around the edge here on the outside and the edge here on the inside. The edge on the inside. Over here. I glued on the edge on the inside. I glued on the edge on the outside. And on the rim. And it finished it off quite nicely, I thought. But I lost the footage of that when I did that. But I put that on there as well. Somehow the uh, video got corrupted when I did that part of it. Or, but I did that to dress it up. And this is just some jute ribbon. And I will leave the uh, link below um, for where I got this. I got this on Amazon for the link for the jute ribbon. So, there we go. And there we have it. The finished product. Now you have a nice planter or a nice platter that you can display candles on or knickknacks or flower vases or whatever and made it yourself and if you stained it if you stained it it'll look differently and if you painted it it'll look differently or if you use different jute ribbon it'll look differently or different contact paper it'll look differently all depended on how you decided to do it it was yours to do so um there you go that's the tutorial for today you guys all have a wonderful night thank you very much have a nice day Hey, while you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel? Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing today. Leave me ideas that can help boost my channel ratings or ideas for future content on the channel. Click the notification bell so you know when I have new videos out or when I go live. Share my um, videos on social media outlets such as Facebook or Instagram. So that way my videos can reach more people and I can grow my audience. Click the like button below. That really helps my channel to help reach more people on YouTube. Supporting me is really great and it helps me grow my channel. I'm not a very big channel at this time and it's really important to me that I get support from fellow YouTubers. I really appreciate you all. I really appreciate that you take time out of your busy day to view my videos and to spend time with me on a daily basis. I try to put videos out on a daily basis so you have something to watch and something to entertain yourselves with. I try really hard to make my channel a positive place for people to come and have fun and be entertained. So I try really hard to make things enjoyable for people. So if you, if you support me, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so very much for your time. Have a great day, and we'll catch you on the flip side.